The importance of the civic space to social cohesion and integration is at the core of discussions at this civil society engagement. For many Nigerians, engaging with the government is a far-fetched concept. We want a civic space engagement that supports the intellectual component of governance and ensures that government policy formulation is done on the basis of evidence and not sentiments. Policies to stifle the civic space should not deter civil society organizations from doing their duty, according to Bishop Kuka. Rather than accusing some of us of, of rebellion, it is bad governance that is a rebellion because really when people sought to be elected, it was to make a better life for our people. Tragically, uh, that has not been the case, but I believe we can turn the corner. The civic space is the pathway to social cohesion and integration. Questions on whether it is being shrunk produce different answers. However, the panel points out some of the reasons for the perceived docile nature of Nigeria's civil space. What has brought us thus far from the military regime is civil society. And rather than get ourselves into self-defeatism by saying, oh, we are shrinking, no, we have to keep knocking at the door, we have to keep remaining strident, remaining active. I think one of our problems, uh, sometimes, even when we are given the space, is our unwillingness to take the space, or lack of confidence to take the place, or the integrity of the individual that will take the space. You find most of the media group, they have either a political leaning or an ethnic leaning. And this leaning is what they put across when they have their, in their TV station, even by the kind of analysts that they bring into the country. The civic space is not a physical construct. It's given by nature and resides in man. And that's the reason why no matter how long an injustice lasts for, man will find his voice. Speakers at this event believe that there is a government-backed tension in the Nigerian public. People are scared of being labeled as rebellious. Well, like Bishop Kuka said earlier, it is bad governance that should be regarded as a rebellion against Nigerian people and not pointing out the failures of government. Kayla Magua, Channel Television News.